you unlock this door with a key into a digital realm. A realm where currency has no building, where protocol is invisible to the naked eye, where engineers have no face. Satoshi Nakamoto sparked a financial revolution, then vanished. Tom Elvis Jedusor crafted privacy-preserving technology, then disappeared. This is engineering the intangible, and it's already here. It's a tale of mystery and code. Who or what created Bitcoin? Let's follow the chain circuiteers block by digital block. In 2008, an anonymous individual or group under the name Satoshi Nakamoto published the Bitcoin white paper in a cryptography mailing list on a platform called MetsDoubt. A white paper is an in-depth report or guide that informs readers concisely about a complex issue. The Bitcoin white paper was the original thesis paper written under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto and was titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. The Bitcoin white paper laid the groundwork for a fundamental change in the execution of global payments. Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin was engineered entirely with code. To understand how Bitcoin fully works, we have to look at four important components, Bitcoin itself, the blockchain, mining, and nodes. Bitcoin is digital money that only exists online. Satoshi Nakamoto engineered Bitcoin to allow people to send and receive payments without using banks or the government. A Bitcoin blockchain is like a shared digital notebook that keeps track of every time someone sends or receives a Bitcoin. Every few minutes, a new page called a block is added, showing all recent transactions. Once something is written in the blockchain, no one can erase or change it. Mining powers the Bitcoin network work by creating new blocks on the chain and verifying Bitcoin transactions. These transactions are verified by miners who use specific hardware to solve mathematical puzzles. In return, miners earn Bitcoin as a reward. They don't have to contribute any money, just computing power. And finally, Bitcoin nodes are computers that exist within the blockchain network. They hold a complete copy of the blockchain and check every transaction to make sure it follows the rules. Nakamoto was only only involved in Bitcoin in the early days, but that involvement came to an end in 2010. According to some researchers, Satoshi Nakamoto has about 1 million Bitcoins spread throughout thousands of digital wallets. However, the only address known to belong to Satoshi Nakamoto is the Genesis address, the first ever address on the Bitcoin blockchain. This address received the initial 50 Bitcoins from the very first block, which was called the Genesis block. Over the years, there have been several people attributed with being or claiming to be Satoshi Nakamoto, including Dorian Nakamoto, a retired engineer in California, Hal Finney, the cryptographer who received the first Bitcoin transaction, and in the 2024 documentary Money Electric, The Bitcoin Mystery, director Colin Hoback proposed that Bitcoin developer Peter Todd is actually Satoshi Nakamoto. Although Peter Todd has denied being Satoshi Nakamoto himself and called the accusation ludicrous, Whoever Satoshi is, according to analysts at Bloomberg, they may soon be the world's second richest person if Bitcoin grows by 50% annually. What if your blockchain or digital notebook could hide your money and itself? I'm talking no sender, no receiver, no trait. Tom Elvis Jevonsor engineered invisibility into the Mimble Wimble blockchain protocol. In the Harry Potter universe, Mimble Wimble is the name of a tongue-tying spell, a way to keep information hidden. And in the world of cryptocurrency, the Mimble Wimble protocol takes the same name and approach, designed to conceal key details of financial transactions on the blockchain. The protocol's anonymous creator used the pseudonym Tom Elvis Jedusor, the French name for Lord Voldemort, a character known for keeping secrets of his own and Harry Potter's nemesis. While the name may be fictional, the Mimble Wimble protocol is very real. Tom Elvis Jedusor didn't just vanish, they engineered a blockchain to disappear with them, raising both questions and eyebrows. 
Mimblewimble erases the blockchain transaction trail, so not even the network itself can determine where the money originated. The protocol also strips out excess data as it moves, shrinking the blockchain and speeding things up like a backpack engineered to get lighter with every mile. But that level of privacy has sparked debate and raises red flags with some regulators who want more transparency, especially as data laws tighten. Still, with rising concern over digital privacy, Mimblewimble is gaining interest and could play a key role in the future of blockchain, just like Tom Elvis Jedusor intended. Machines made of code and creators made of mystery. But behind every cryptographic code, there's real world engineering shaping what we see and what stays headed. Satoshi Nakamoto and Tom Elvis Chedusor each built blockchains that don't need banks or names. But what does this say about the engineers behind them? It may say great engineering doesn't just solve problems, it disappears. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. And a special thank you to the Mingxie Institute at USC Viterbi for making this episode possible.